So, the story is we'll be taking this first look inside uh, an Acer i7-7700. I bought it about five weeks ago, been using it full time since then. It's running perfectly. So now it's time to think about expansion. So what I need to know is exactly what is inside this machine and are there any surprises. So I just want to take a look before I buy anything. In regard to the choice of this processor, keep in mind the concept of content creator PC, uh, a lot of video rendering and a lot of other uh, heavy duty work. So this machine is 3.6 gigahertz with four cores and eight threads. It should be able to do the job. And it certainly has been so far. Based on YouTube videos from places like Tech Deals, I was seriously considering the budget Acer i5-6400, which very possibly could have done the job. This shot shows the open memory slot, so 8GB can be added. This is a close-up of the two PCI slots. Finding an M.2 can sometimes be difficult. This one is on the front edge of the uh, micro ATX main board in the center. You can see it with the, the black connector to the right on the very edge of the green. That's the M.2 connector. One important thing that I did discover while looking for the M.2 was that there is indeed a free power supply feed cable on the right in that photo. While this is running I can tell you that my conclusions are that regardless of the fact that there is an additional power feed available, I'm still going with a 1050 video card or something close to that because it, with the 300 watt power supply it, it doesn't really change the, uh, the configuration on that. Please consider subscribing and leave your comments below. My affiliate links to the budget Acers that we've been talking about are also below.